What is going on everyone, Tutorial Tim here, and today I'm gonna to show you a handy Figma plugin that you can download called Walkthrough in the Figma community. Uh, this will allow you to basically um, add a widget to your canvas, and with that widget, for example, if we go ahead and access our plugins and start running, uh, adding this walkthrough, here it'll add a walkthrough, and with that walkthrough, you have the ability to go ahead and change like the color scheme of this, uh, what this walkthrough card looks like, uh, whether it has like an outline variation on the button or not. Um, you can actually hide the title or the description and uh, change the size of that card. Um, so for example, if you have a really large file, you know, or if it's very context specific within a large file, you can really, uh, be systematic in your approach with applying these uh, these uh, walkthrough uh, widgets, I guess you could say. And with the configuration on the free version, you have the ability to add five different views. So with the five different views, so if, uh, you, I can go ahead and type in test, and with that view, uh, you know, in its current state. So if you move your canvas around, and with this view selected in the configuration, uh, I can go ahead and select update view. So if I, if I zoom out, zoom in elsewhere or zoom out elsewhere and I select this, it will show me that card. And then when I click play, it'll, it'll start me in this particular view. So if I go ahead and, you know, make some frames here. All right. With those frames, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, make sure I have this so selected. So right now it just, focuses on that view. Whoops, I'm gonna click configure. And then from there, with that selection, I'm gonna go ahead and update view. So now when I hit play, first I'm gonna zoom out or zoom elsewhere and then hit play and it'll reorient it stealth to uh, a so-called starting position. Um, so you can start to see how you can leverage this and say I want to kind of zoom in, you know, on two particular frames, say these are designs that you want a stakeholder to see and they're kind of disoriented when they, they're they navigating a Figma file. This plugin helps kind of remove some of the some of that confusion and in, in that issue in particular. So go ahead and you know just name this. Whoops. And with that named, I can just add a description. And now that we have that, um, I'm going to go ahead with this selected, add another view. So if I select this, click add selected, and then I'm going to go ahead and select step two and click add selected. And I can even duplicate it once more. And then with that, call that step three. And then I'm going to click add selected and you have up to five views you could use. I'll just use these four to five. And if you would like more views, you can always upgrade. There's a professional plan for one user and they also have a license for teams and organizations. So now if I go ahead and click play, it'll, it'll zoom out ideally. And then it'll kind of take me into that next step or screen. And here you can go ahead and, you know, restart the entire, uh, walk through if you'd like and it'll let you know once it's finished um, yeah it, you can pause it skip directly to another slide there's also you know a list view of all the steps and you can even click to those steps and that is bas the basics of using this walkthrough and it's really targeted for stakeholders or that just need to orient themselves in the figma file so that's one way you could leverage it um, there's a lot of potential as well in terms of any feedback I'd give this. I'd love to see audio and even video um, integrated into this uh, where it could be displayed. So it would be really easy to break down onboarding for designers and engineering partners or product managers as well um, to further, uh, you know, ingrain themselves within, you know, the understanding of the intent of the design. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how you use this uh, walkthrough Figma plugin. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and share, and I'll catch you in the next one.